What's up, social media? It's your girl, Pastor T of the New Destiny Fellowship Church, where we are changing our minds to change the world under the leadership of my, the cutest pastor ever, Bishop Claudia Hardy Jr. But I come to share with you today the book. Of course, you already saw that, but I just want to give you snippets of the book, right? Church hurt, but it helped the lessons behind the blessing. There's a part in the book that I write um, and I copied from uh, Pastor Sarah Jakes, which is coming to Houston on March the 2nd. Can't wait to see her in the Houston area. There was something that she wrote where she talked about if the pews could talk, what would they say? And I deal with that. And this is a part of the book, the beginning of the book, which I call it the prefix. 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 I may have said that wrong. But anyway, it's that part of the book <laughs> um, that where I'm dealing with the fact that what do you do if the pews could talk? If the pews could really talk, what would they say? And I deal with the root of it. And if you know me, I try to be real, relatable, um, and understanding at the same time because this is a topic that's so sensitive to the body of Christ, to the church, uh, that's so sensitive to the people of God. But I'm that girl that don't mind talking about it because I realize this is that there's so much hurt that happens from pastors to people. I'm a pastor. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastor's wife under the leadership of my husband. I'm a pastor's wife. So there's so much that we as pastor wives and pastors do because we hadn't dealt with the hurt of our own situations, our own pain, our own problems, and we end up bleeding out on the people in the church. And I deal with the fact that we, we experience hurt from the pulpit to the pew. Well, the pulpit may get in, in the, oh my God, okay, I'm about to get raw. Ugh. Well, the pulpit <laughs> may end up throwing slugs over the pulpit to the pew. Or the pulpit may be doing some sinful things, sinful actions over the uh oh. They're not walking in integrity. They're not walking in the characteristics of God. You know, that may be the case. You may experience that to where that hurts you. You trusted them. You believed in them. And now they came on to you. Oh, don't stop watching. Don't scroll. Not yet. But there's also some things that happen from the pew to the pulpit. Where there's pew members that throw slugs at the pulpit. Where there's pew members that hurt. The pulpit. There's pew members that hurt the pastors. There's people that that come to your church, and their whole assignment is to destroy the church because of the chaos that they've experienced in life. And now God, the enemy, has sent them on assignment to tear up the church. Oh, I talk about it. Oh, I talk about. It. You know, you you want to get this book, but I also deal with. I'm, I'm not gonna leave you in your scene. I'm not. Never will I do that. But I also try to show you how no matter what, there's no perfect people. There's nobody that's perfect. We are here that's living for a perfect God that's trying to live a perfect life for a perfect God. That's all we're doing. But for some reason, we have put the expectation on pew members as well as pastors that everybody should be right and happy-go-lucky every day that they should never have problems. They should never have pain. They should show up to church on time. They should be there. They should make sure that they're here working in ministry, but never remembering that that person is broken. That leader, that person, that leader that walked in is broken. Man, I love my girl, Tanisha. I love you, Tanisha. Tanisha, um, can't think of your last name because you're about to get married, but she does a thing called unmuted. Oh my God. Like, and she deals with that. I, I listen to your radio station. Shout out to you uh, on what you're doing. You're doing an amazing thing. I love you so much uh, to see. Uh, anyway, I ain't gonna get into it. I'm proud of you. Golly proud. But so you have that going on where the leaders are coming in and they're broken and they're hurt and nobody's dealing with that. And then you have pastors that are broken and they're hurt and leaders are adding on to that broken. And we expect the pastors expect for the leaders, to, the members to understand and the, and the members to expect for the pastor to understand when there should nobody be understanding nothing. We are not God. You're not God. Pastors are not God. We're just trying to live a life of perfection and trying to do what God say. And guess what? Sometimes we mess up. I deal with that. Sometimes we make mistakes. We fall down. 
but we get up. Come on, Donna Lawrence. We fall down, but we get up. Come on. Our job is to get up. Now, when we fall down and we stay there, that's when accountability comes in. And I deal with that. The importance of having a covering. Shout out to my bishop, my my spiritual mother, Lady uh, Bishop and Lady Gail Willard. I even deal with that. And I'm, I'm almost done. I even deal with the fact, my loyalty. I've been with them for 16, 17 years. The importance of making sure you stay loyal. Come on, somebody. Okay, read the book. Church hurt, but it helped. We all make mistakes. If I was to title this particular video, I would title it, The Hurt from the Pew to the Pulpit, and The Hurt from the Pulpit to the Pew. We all make mistakes. Let's get up, and let's love again, and believe in the church again. The church deserves it. Your job does. Give us another chance. Get your book today! Get your book. Get your book. Go get your book. Pre-order it. I'm sorry. Let me do it in love. See? See how I messed up right there? So I want to encourage you to go and get your book today. You don't want to miss it. As well as this seminar that's going to happen on April the 4th. I'm still working on details. But April the 4th, the seminar is happening to a city near you. Come on, glory. I love you guys. Purchase your book today. This is your girl. Thank you for rocking out with me. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Church hurt, but it helped. The lessons behind the blessing. Love you much. Bye.